Welcome back everyone, Cryptic here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple enemy AI from scratch. So let's get straight to the video. First, there's a couple of things that you need to understand. Uh, go over your player and make sure the player is in a group called player. Number one. Number two, go to your enemy and you need to make sure the sprite is changed now you can download the sprite into the description and simply add that sprite to the sprite editor number one and number two make sure the collision shape is fine number two and number three is make sure this is the most important one is make sure you add this to a group after you do that go back to your script and time for coding but before we even do that move i'm going to show you what is the end product will look like so you have your you have your enemy and it will come closer as we go and as you can see it's actually moving and this guy is getting closer by the way and if i go and wait and boom it's going it gets a restart this is what we are coding First is the enemy AI. To do the enemy AI, first go to your script and this is the script that needs to be enemy. You can pause this and un understand it or just go ahead and copy it. That's you, uh, that's you, okay? But for now, I'm gonna explain. First, we have the run speed, then we got the player, then we got the velocity. Now, run speed for run speed, player equals to the, this guy will be the body. And in the ready function, I'm gonna say player equals to get three get nodes in group player and this line and you'll say why I'm gonna use this line go to your nodes and as you can see this guy returns an array a array so to get the first element of the array you must go to your enemy and use this guy which is the first element of the array and in the physics function I'm gonna say velocity equals to vector 2 to 0 which means when we are starting the vector 2 will be 0 in the and then we would say if player it means if the player we got the player then say velocity equals to position the direction to which means simply means direct its position to player dot position I mean direct this position or direct this position or direction get a direction of uh, i think that's would be easier to understand get a direction of player dot position from whatever your position is so this guy is the enemy and this guy is the player so get a direction to the player from the enemy then add a run speed and you say why there is no delta because we are using physics process function then we would say look at which simply means looking at to some type of position so we say look at and say player dot position i mean global position and that how it works then we would say velocity equals to move and slide velocity which basically does is makes the player move uh, makes the player move okay so this is the first part and in the next part we would talk about how to create a a um a collision so when we do is when we when so when it comes when, we, when this guy comes and boom it gets restarted so i'm gonna show you how to code that so to do that first go to your player and go to your script and simply we need to add is one thing go over here and say for i in slide count because this is a new function that needs to be called so create a function called get collision and here and we'll say for i in slide count which basically does is takes the how much slides it takes it means the slide count variable then we'd say that var collision equals to get slide collision which gets the first collision that gets the slide okay so there's like slides it's like think think about like let's say uh a a box okay think about a box and the slides are the things in the box but the thing is you don't know what are the things so in the box so the box is empty and you're just going through some something and the, the the things are getting filled on the box but you don't know what are the things that gets filled in the box this guy checks basically those things okay so if the collision dot collider is in the group it means the box that we have if if the box has enemy some type of enemy that the group that they are in the collision that they are in is enemy 
it means they're in the group called enemy then we know that this guy is the enemy then we know that we are now dead so basically i'm going to emit a signal called dead signal now you say what the heck is this guy go over here and as you can see i have a new signal called the death signal this guy is just calling that this guy needs a death signal so go back to your i'm going to go down and as you can see i say queer free which basically does is quiz the thing free and say get tree get reload color scene which restarts the current scene so that's basically how it works now the enemy is a little slower so i'm gonna add a more speed to the variable so let's go and do that so go to your script and let's increase this guy to 100 save this guy and as you can see it's coming so fast i can help me boom okay that's how you create a simple enemy ai from scratch make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss anything i will see you in the next one